As people say, there's an upside and downside to just about everything, like with getting married again after being single for so long. Maybe now I have a little less freedom, you know, to do something on the spur of the moment just because it sounds like fun. I, I mean, being in a committed relationship doesn't mean you can't have fun. No way. It, it just sort of means you have to plan ahead. Make sure whatever you want to do does not conflict with what the wife has planned. Marriage is about sharing, you know. I am really happy these days. It has been so rewarding to have a partner who is with me 24-7 in our journey through life. We are really each other's best friends. Now, I know those of you who have followed my experiences online over the years all know I am also very close to my good buddy Mike. Yeah, I guess he was my best friend before I met my amazing wife, Sharon. But things change. They did for Mike as he got hitched one more time too. But that's a long story that I should probably get into another time. Anyway, wait, what was I saying? Oh yeah, marriage has been a real game changer for me. Like this last week. Are you serious? You don't know how to fix a faucet. What did you do before I moved in here? Well, Mike usually came over and helped out. He went to school way back to be a plumber. He was the only guy to get kicked out of Bates Volk School for dealing fake autographed baseball cards. And they warned him like four or five times. I think it was the, the bogus Roberto Clemente rookie card that got him booted. Yeah, he tried to sell it to his instructor. And, you know, there's some sort of unwritten code among plumbers, and Mike broke it. Okay, but who's going to fix the faucet tonight? I, I don't have the right tools. Do you even own a decent toolkit? I will call a plumber in the morning, okay, honey? We can wash dishes in the bathtub tonight, huh? After Mike and Tammy leave. I'll dry. So I was thinking, I know what I want for our like first wedding anniversary. Uh, my account's maxed out of Jared, please. How about a nice dinner at Applebee's? You know, we could rent a DVD at Redbox. There's a brand new Sylvester Stallone flick. I heard it got really good reviews. I am not talking about like jewelry right now. I was thinking of getting a new tattoo next to my butterfly down there to celebrate our first year together. What do you say? So you want my face or initials right above your butt crack? Oh, that would be so cool, Tammy. You know, you can hardly even see my ex-wife's face at all. Uh, you haven't looked lately, have you? Thank God for wrecking balm. Not your face or initials. Like a palm tree or something that a butterfly would like to spend the rest of its life next to. Oh yeah, that sounds even cooler. It just seems like the right thing to do. That butterfly is all alone and needs a purpose. A connection with something. Uh, a tree would be nice. What about a jar of honey? It's a butterfly, Mike, not like a fly. Jeez. Uh, right. Hey, should we have brought something? I mean, what exactly do you bring to board game night? It started out as a feeling Which grew into a hope Which then turned into a quiet thought which turned into a quiet word And then that word grew louder and louder Till it was a battle cry I'll come back when you call me No need to say goodbye Dad, I was thinking about moving to Seattle after graduation, maybe moving with mom until I can afford my own place. There are a lot of good places to play there. Like clubs and festivals, huh? Someday. But for now, I'm just going to do it for tips. Be a busker. Mary Lou Lord did it, and she got a record deal out of it. I could play at, like, Pike Place Market and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know, Lisa. That sounds like a wonderful idea. You never know who might hear you on some street corner. But you're going to go to college. Remember we talked about UW Tacoma. I will go to college, Dad. Just not right now. I have to pay my dues if I want to be good. But it's dangerous on the streets, Lisa. Y you know, your mother will never go for this. I think that if you pick spots that are well lit late at night, it might be okay. It's all about location. Look, I'm no expert on the music you play, Lisa. And I know you like to make fun of the light jazz I enjoy, but sometimes an artist has to take a leap mm. and just go for it. Do you think we could talk about this further tomorrow in depth? Don't you have some uh, chemistry homework to finish up, sweetie? Yeah, what if I wore one of those I've fallen and I can't get up beeper thingies that grandma wore before she died? Would that make you feel better, Dad? 
homework, young lady. That must be Mike and Tammy. It was nice of Mike to use the doorbell this time, huh? That's a first. <laughs> Glad you guys can make it. Hey, you didn't happen to bring your toolbox, did you? Oh, come on, Sharon's got the game all set up. Don't you just love board game night, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Sharon, did you do something different with your hair today? No. Oh, okay. Hey, do you want to set up any side bets before we start? You know, like spice things up a bit. I say we all throw in five bucks into the pot. Sounds fun. Why don't we just go to the Emerald Queen Casino then tonight? This is supposed to be about spending time together and exchanging conversation. Five dollars is a bit much anyway. I only hit the penny slots. I love Cleopatra. Let's just play for fun tonight, guys, okay? Sure. Who wants to go first? Oh, did anyone see The Bachelor last night? Probably the saddest night for me in a long time. Didn't your heart like totally break when Des got the cold shoulder from Sean? Mike and I were both crying at the end. Yeah, it was too bad. I mean, she seemed like such a nice girl. The Bachelor, huh? We were catching up on the last few episodes of Downton Abbey we'd missed. Now that is an incredible show. Downtown Abbey? It's uh, Downton Abbey. Is that on the E Channel? PBS, Tammy. You should check it out. I know you gotta get up early tomorrow morning, so do you think we should get going? Mike is so sweet. He gets up with me three times a week to go to hot yoga. He hates yoga, but he's willing to try it to spend more time with me. And with all the college athletes and mostly football players in the class, he must be the oldest guy there. But he keeps up with us pretty well. Hot yoga, huh? You never mentioned that before, Mike. It's, it's not that bad, once you get used to the heat blasting you in the face. Well, we can continue this some other time. How about board games on a Friday night next time? We usually are out dancing on Friday nights, but maybe we could fit it in and go clubbing later. Dancing, huh? Yeah, I'm not really much of a dancer. You are so much better than when we first met, babe. Remember how that first night you partially tore your meniscus when I came up and asked you to dance right before closing time? Yeah, maybe it uh, should have been a slow song. I am learning so much about you, good buddy, things I never knew. Uh, anything else you want to tell me about? Just that he is the most awesomest husband in the whole wide world. Steve, maybe you could take a lesson from Mike here. Wait, what? I have been after him for months to go to just one calligraphy class with me. And he just can't seem to find the time. I owe you, buddy. Um, uh, okay then. Hey, thanks a lot for everything. We can do this at our place next time if you want. Um, why don't we keep board game night here? It seems to work and uh, then you won't have to clean up. Okay, later I guess. See you both soon. Later, dude. Like I would ever set foot in Mike's mobile home. I wouldn't let a dog sleep there. Oh, I know, I know, honey.